Hey there, and welcome to Healing House Yoga, where we can come together no matter how far we may roam. Today's practice is going to give our low back a lot of love. It's going to be a relatively gentle sequence because if you're here for back pain, we don't need to be doing anything too strenuous. If you're new here, thank you so much for visiting. Take a second, subscribe to the channel down below. It really is the best way to help support free yoga and bring our little community together. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. It's great to see you again. I wouldn't be here without you. So let's get into it. Everything that we do here is focused more so on the muscles and loosening those tight muscles that can contribute to back pain. So you know your body, if you have a real injury, pay attention, listen, and only do what feels right to you. You know the difference between oh yeah and oh no. So tune in, listen to your body, and only do what feels right. With that said, a couple of props could be useful today. Um, blocks, blankets, um, and maybe a bolster. Take a second, gather those to you, and when you're ready, I'll see you on the mat. Welcome. So, okay guys, we're going to give our low back some love today. We're going to start out on our back. So, making your way onto your mat, we'll find supine bent knees. Feet flat on the mat, knees bent, pointing at the ceiling. Arms can lay down by your sides or perhaps bring one hand to the heart and the other hand to the belly. Eyes flutter shut and we begin to settle in. Noticing the support of the mat in this posture, our low back presses into the ground. Just acknowledging how we are showing up, whatever that means pains and aches, we welcome it all, begin to deepen the breath, inhaling through the nose, deep full breathing all the way into the belly and a gentle exhale through the mouth, letting all the tension fade from the face, fade from the body. a couple rounds of breath here and then we'll make our way uh, into tabletop so either rocking and rolling up to tabletop or taking a gentler approach like rolling onto your side and pressing into your palms make your way into tabletop for a few rounds of cat cow Cat cow will inhale, arch the spine, lift the gaze, let the belly release. And exhaling, dome the spine, release the head, belly button towards and towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, dome and release. And we'll just take a few rounds of breath here, moving at your own pace and feeling free to take any any movement that feels right to you, maybe that's creating C shapes on either side, bringing hips and shoulders towards one another, or maybe creating some deep hip circles. Whatever feels good to you, moving with your breath, moving mindfully, moving purposefully, will wake up the spine. Mm -hmm. 
and coming into stillness, we'll set up or thread the needle. Grounding through the left palm, spread the fingertips wide. With an inhale, reach the right arm overhead, finding an open twist. And exhaling, thread the right arm underneath the left, coming to rest on the right shoulder and ear. Left arm comes out long in a diagonal, maybe even tenting the fingertips. And reaching through the right fingers, we feel for that twist, opening of the shoulder, spine. I'm trying to keep the hips as parallel as possible. Come back to center and switching sides, ground down through the right palm, spread the fingertips wide, and reach left hand overhead, finding that open twist, exhaling, thread the left arm underneath the right, coming to rest on the left shoulder and the left ear. Right arm goes long overhead and diagonal, tenting the fingertips if that feels good to you. Inhale, we'll unwind, come back to tabletop, and then finding plank, step the feet back. Option to lower the knees here. In plank, we have a nice even plane, pressing into the palms, lifting up and out of the shoulders, engaging our core muscles. The shoulders and the hips are in the same plane. Bottom's not too high, bottom's not too low. It's a nice, strong plank. Inhale and exhale, and we'll lower all the way down onto our belly, releasing the knees first and then sinking down. Setting up for Sphinx. Work the hands forward and press into the forearms. Palms face down and fingertips spread wide. With an inhale, we'll lift our torso. Gaze is forward and neutral. Weight is even in the forearms. Keep that nice grounding in the pelvis. Chest shines forward. Tops of feet flat on the mat. Some toes are pointing. Inhale and exhale, release all the way down. Hands come by the shoulders, tuck the toes. We'll lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Finding some movement in this down dog, maybe pedaling the feet, wagging the tails, shaking the head, yes and no. Spread the fingertips wide and distribute the weight evenly between your palms. Externally rotating the upper arms and reaching the heels towards the mat. Not worrying if we make contact, just finding that length. And then coming into stillness, we'll shift the gaze forward and then step the feet towards the hands, finding a forward fold. Hang the head heavy. A little bit of motion here, maybe clasping opposite elbows, just letting gravity do the work. Feeling the spine lengthen, elongate. Creating space in between those little vertebrae. Deep, full breaths. And then releasing the hands, if you haven't done so already. We'll inhale, lift halfway, bring the spine parallel to the mat. And exhale, release. Plant the palms and step the feet back to downward facing dog. 
bringing big toes to touch. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Keeping the hips square, reaching through the right heel. Find length. And exhaling, step the right foot forward for lizard. And foot comes to the outside edge of the mat. And back knee releases. Maybe the front toes point outwards as the heel turns inward. And you can stay elevated here, pressing into your palms if this feels good. Just kind of letting the hips sink down. Or if you would like to go deeper, you can begin to release onto your forearms. Maybe tucking the chin, finding length in the spine. Inhale, unwind, press into the palms, tuck the back toes. Stepping the front foot back to plank, we'll move through vinyasa. And exhaling, lowering all the way down to your belly. Hands come a few inches in front of shoulders. Inhale, low cobra, very little weight in the palms. Exhale, release. Hands come just below shoulders, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Meeting up and down dog, bring big toes to touch. We'll inhale and lift the left leg high. Keeping the hips square, reach to the heel. And exhaling, step the left foot forward for lizard. Foot comes just to the outside edge of the mat, releasing the back knee. You can stay elevated here, or if it feels good to you, releasing down to your forearms. Whatever feels right to you. And if you lower it down to your forearms on your next inhale, Press into your palms, lift the torso. Tucking the back toes, and we'll step the front foot back to plank. Exhaling, lowering all the way down to the belly. Inhaling, low cobra. Exhaling, release. Hands come directly underneath shoulders, tuck the toes, and find downward facing dog. Meeting up and down dog, we'll shift our gaze forward and shift our bodies forward, coming into plank. Option to lower the knees here, just taking care, we'll have a nice strong core. Hips and shoulders are in the same plane. Inhale. And exhale, keep the elbows in nice and tight, and we'll lower as a single unit all the way to the belly. Setting up for low cobra, hands come a few inches in front of shoulders. Inhale, lift the torso. Very little weight in the palms, gaze is forward and down. Exhale, release. And we'll find child's pose. Pressing into the palms, shift the hips back, bring big toes to touch, spread the knees wide. Let the forehead rest on the mat, arms are long overhead. Inhale, tabletop, press into, into the palms and come onto hands and knees. Tuck the toes and exhale, downward facing dog. And then we'll release onto our knees and make our way onto our back, setting up for bridge. Feet planted, knees bent, arms long by the sides. Engage the core, inhale. And exhale, lift the hips. Keeping the knees pointed towards the ceiling at all times. Careful not to let them flare out. When you're 
ready, we'll come down, rolling one vertebra down at a time, coming onto the sacrum very last. We'll set up for recline pigeon, crossing the right leg over the left thigh, creating a figure four, making sure that the right foot's hanging just over the outside edge of the left leg. We'll press the right knee gently away from the shoulder, bringing the ankle and the knee towards the same plane. You can stay here if this feels good, if you're getting a nice opening of the hip, or if you need more, we'll thread the arms through the legs, capturing the left thigh or shin, and then gently hug the knee in towards the chest. Not forcing anything, not demanding that that knee or that leg comes all the way to the chest, but instead focusing on lengthening the low back. Inhale and exhale, release. And we'll switch sides, this time crossing the left ankle over the right thigh, letting that foot overhang just a bit. And press the left knee away from the shoulder, creating figure four. You can stay here, or if you want to go deeper, we'll thread the arms through, capturing the right thigh or shin, and hugging the right leg in towards the chest. Remember, focusing on lengthening the low back rather than on how close we hug that leg in. Inhaling, release the legs and find supine bent knees. And set up for a twist, extending the right leg towards the ceiling. As you exhale, cross the right leg over the left. The knees release leftwards. Arms come out wide into a T and gaze falls right. Inhale, unwind, coming back to center, reach the left leg high. As you exhale, cross the left leg over the right, allowing the knees to release rightwards and the gaze comes left. Inhale, unwind, planting the feet flat on the mat, knees bent, we'll find supine bent knees, letting the eyes close for just a moment, maybe one hand comes to the heart, the other hand comes to the belly. Take a, just a couple of last breaths here, checking in, noticing how you feel maybe from the beginning of class to now. We'll make our way into an easy seat, either rocking and rolling all the way up to a seated posture if that feels okay on your back, or taking the gentle approach, rolling onto your side, pressing into your palms, using your core strength to help bring you into that easy seat. Reaching arms out and overhead, inhale, exhale, hands to heart center. The light in me honors and acknowledges the light in each and every one of you. Together we say, Namaste. You have an absolutely beautiful practice. Thank you so much for sharing it with me um, and letting me lead you through that sequence. 
If you found value in today's video, take a second, give it a thumbs up, maybe leave us a comment down below or check us out at our website at healinghouseyoga.com. I'd really love to hear from you what you liked, what you didn't like, maybe even some suggestions on what we cover next. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to seeing you again. Until next time, be well.